What's up guys, it's the first gamer bringing you another Smash Bros video, and today I am playing Cloud. Now, I have a few things to talk about today. One, the biggest thing, the Smash Direct tomorrow. Or Yeah, I'm gonna upload this the day before. Um, I'm actually recording it the, uh, the day before, so I'll probably upload this right after I'm done uh, rendering it, but uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Who knows what's gonna, gonna be announced, like... I know a lot of people were hoping that like there was gonna be a direct right in the middle of Evo, which would have been cool. I would have expected like I don't know. A lot of people were saying like a fighting a game character would have been announced. It would have made sense. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I was about to, I was thinking like um, Ken as an Echo Fighter for Ryu, which would have been cool. I think that's still gonna happen. Like it just makes sense. And then like uh, a lot of people have been talking about Heihachi from Tekken. I never played Tekken, but. Uh, I know that's a character some people are expecting, because, well, I mean, in Smash 4, um, I believe Heihachi had a Mii Fighter costume, and also, that's a uh, Bandai Namco character, so, and Namco, um, helped with Smash 4, that's why Pac-Man got in, so, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he got in the game, and I think Sakurai considered putting him in, too, in Smash 4, so it's possible, I don't know, there could be, um, King K. Rule's another one people are expecting, and apparently Diddy Kong is like an Echo Fighter of, uh, or D Dixie Kong, rather, as an Echo Fighter of Diddy Kong is another one people have been speculating. I'm not sure if Diddy Dixie Kong would be an Echo Fighter of, um, Diddy Kong, but I wouldn't be, I'd be fine if he, she were. And then a lot of people say Dark Samus could be an Echo Fighter of Samus, which is like, okay. Um, you know one I'm surprised no one has talked about? Talk, or talked about rather <laughs> is um, Morgan as an Echo Fighter of Robin, uh, you know the son slash daughter of Robin in um, Fire Emblem Awakening, and add that with that in mind, we could have had Kana as a, an Echo Fighter of Corn even. So I think that would have been neat. I at least would like Morgan as an alternate costume for Robin, honestly. I think that would be really cool. I would absolutely play female Morgan, because I would love to play as my daughter <laughs> in uh, Awakening. And I really got into the... <laughs> when I was playing Awakening, I got really into the, like, the freaking father role with Morgan. <laughs> uh, that was like one of my favorite parts of that game, was the actual pairing characters and then them having a child that comes back from the future. <laughs> I don't know, in Fates it wasn't as good, because <laughs> it just didn't make any sense, like, freaking, they send them to an alternate dimension where time moves differently, so they're older now, which is just weird, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, what else was I thinking? Um, so, uh, shoot. What was I, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, um, shoot, I actually don't remember. Um, other characters, like, uh, Geno is another one people would want, like, uh, freaking people have talked about, um, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, I mean, I think that would be kind of cool if, like, they announced Geno with Sora, I would like to see them announce, um, multiple characters into one trailer, like, I think that's just a cool idea, kind of like how they did with, um, I guess, uh, Palutena and Dark Pit would be the one that I, I'm thinking of, or, like, Lucina and Robin, like, if they did that, and not just for Echo Fighters, but, like, even for whole new characters, I think that would be cool. Like, I, I was, like, imagining, like, I don't know, some, some ideas for char character trailers I had in my head was, like, you know, for Ken and Heihachi, maybe we'd have, like, Ryu fighting somebody, and then Ken just shows up fighting him, and then, you know, all of a sudden Heihachi comes out of nowhere and is like, hey, guess what, I'm here too. I'm from a different fighting game, though. <laughs> or, like, for, um... Gino and Sora potentially would be, um, because they're both uh, Square Enix characters. We could have, like, Cloud and Mario fighting, and then, like, Gino comes out and starts helping Mario, and then freaking all of a sudden Cloud is losing, and it's just like, hey, Sora's here. And there you go. <laughs> well, like, another one, I know that, like, um, Elma's a pro popular character that people are speculating from, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think that would be a neat one. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Uh, Shulk and Elma fighting or something, and then all of a sudden you see Rex in the background, just like, yeah, that I'm joining too or something. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what to expect really. I, I have a lot of speculations in my mind. My most wanted character is probably Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, 
I know that because of the timing, apparently, it seems like Rex might not be one of the characters in it. And as well as like a punch out character. Or not punch out, uh, <laughs> arms character. Because like the timing of when Smash Ultimate was in development and when those games were in the de in development, it seems unlikely that those characters would be in um, Smash Ultimate. Some people are speculating that they may be like DLC, but they won't take too long to come. I don't know, I'm thinking like maybe they could be like DLC that comes out like, I don't know, a month or so after, or like, no, not probably it's later than that, like, I don't know, not even a year later though. That would be pretty neat. And maybe I'm thinking too positively, but maybe it could be a free DLC download. I mean, they did that with Mario Tennis Aces. So, you know, with, um, I think Diddy Kong, Koopa Troopa, and Boo? No, Boo was already in there. It was someone else. But, like, oh no, it wasn't Koopa Troopa. It was Paratrooper, I think. But yeah, they were free DLC, I believe. So yeah, it does seem like, I don't know, because, like, if these characters were, like, a last-minute thing to put into the game, then it's possible they could be, like, a free DLC download, like, a few not too long after the game releases. You know, it, it, it makes sense, in, I think. It does seem like a Nintendo's been more, I don't know, generous with their DLC stuff. At least from what I've seen, at least. I don't know. Um... But yeah, that's... Some of my speculations. Um, I don't know if I want to do a reaction to it. <laughs> I kind of do, but... <laughs> last time that did not go very well <laughs> but I did kind of figure out how to record audio on my streaming service or my streaming si uh, freaking 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 what do I call it what do I even call it application I don't know <laughs> streaming software that's that's it sure my streaming software that I use I used for uh, my other YouTube streams but like I can't I could not for the life of me figure out how to fix the audio levels like, when I tried, it's just like, no, it still sounds the same. I'm just like, I'm turning down the dial that would lower the audio. Why is it not lowering at all? I don't know. I guess it just doesn't want to work for me. I don't know. I, uh, maybe I can still do it. The audio might be unbalanced, but at least I'll be able to get reaction. That's a live reaction out of um, it with the audio uh, from the actual direct. Because like when I did the Pokemon Direct, I had to re record the video alone, and not the audio of the Direct. But then I had to like wait till the Direct was uploaded to YouTube, so that I could um, sync the audio, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's that's incredibly annoying, and it's not fun. So <laughs> I'd rather not do that this time. So I don't know. I'll I'll probably st try to do it. If the audio levels are bad, maybe I'll try my best to fix it, but I don't really know how I can do it. Maybe someone else will know in, during the stream. <laughs> I don't know. No one really will watch my other um, Smash uh, Direct stream, or my other Nintendo Direct E3 stream. So I don't know. Maybe someone will be there for this one. And as for the Mario 63 streams, I think I am going to end that too, because... Just the audio is so bad, and I really don't know how to fix it. I feel like for the Smash Direct, it might be more tolerable. Because I don't think the audio from the Smash Direct will be that loud. Hopefully. Because, like, the biggest thing is that the audio from the game itself, uh, Mario 63, is loud, and you can't adjust it. Whereas, on a YouTube stream, I probably can adjust it. Right on the, uh, because, like, on YouTube, they have the little audio thing. Okay, so my, uh, microphone just bugged out for some reason, but, um, it's working now. <laughs> so, uh, like I was saying, on YouTube, they have the, um, the audio bar that I can adjust, so, you know, I, uh, it shouldn't be as loud, and it should not overpower my voice as much, if that helps at all. <laughs> but, I don't know, with, um, it seems like on the, um, system I use for the streams, like, I don't know, the audio was just from the game was just so loud, whereas the audio from my microphone was extremely quiet to the point where, like, I don't know, it, it, it just barely moved at all. And I feel like I should be talking loud enough. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I guess I was kind of quiet, but, like, still, it shouldn't be that much louder, right? <laughs> 
Sir, even if it was, I should be able to adjust it, which it seemed like I could. I just the, I did look through the audio th things and like, I adjusted the meters, but nothing changed. Like I was still really quiet and the game audio was still really loud. It wouldn't change, and this DK is a douche. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully the stream is okay. But yeah, that'll probably be the only thing I stream from now on is um reactions to, like, Nintendo Directs and stuff, for Smash specifically. I don't know what else would be all that exciting, <laughs> honestly, so... I don't know, I'm hoping for something cool to happen. What I'm really hoping for is a playable demo that we can download on the Switch for free. That would be just perfect. And it would be even greater if we had online mode on there, or if we could play online with it, like they did with um, Mario Tennis Aces, you know? That would be just amazing. That would just be perfect. That would just be great. Especially while the Switch uh, internet is still free as of now, I think. I'm pretty sure it's still free. At least, I don't know. Isn't it not until, like, September? What's after August? September? Oh dear, it's next month. <laughs> Hopefully it's before that, then. <laughs> it's in September, right? Or is it later than that? I think it's September. I'm hoping it's September. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think... That's all I had to really say about um, the Direct tomorrow, so yeah. We'll try to stream it. Hopefully the audio is not that bad, and everything is okay. Also, I will be continuing Mario 63 as just a normal series. Like, I'll just play the rest of the game and, like, you know, cut it up into parts, the most entertaining parts, so hopefully that should be, you know, alright. I've been wanting to do more videos like that, but, like... <laughs> The last time I tried to do that with Mario 63, actually, which is why I wanted to stream it instead, is, like, all my commentary was just boring, I was quiet the whole time, and maybe I just recorded it for too long, because I was, like, there for two hours, and I got about as far as I did in the stream, so, like, <laughs> yeah, I guess after a while I would get tired of that, <laughs> so obviously my commentary would just die, uh, go down, or go down in uh, entertainment quality, so <laughs> I just get bored. <laughs> So yeah, I'll try not to do that next time. I'll go for like an hour each time when recording those types of videos. And hopefully that should be alright. So yeah, that's um, some things I plan to do in the future. And also... Um, I don't know what else <laughs> I plan to do. Oh, and um, this is the second to last Smash video I have. I have one more after this one. and Gosh, it's been quite a journey with Smash 4, like, this is what I started doing on this channel, and no one watched me back then, and then, like, the Unnecessary Censorship video got really popular, and, like, I started to get a decent amount of views for someone starting off, but then, like, after I stopped doing those videos, my views are just gone. <laughs> I still got about the same amount of subscribers, and, you know, my subscribers count keeps going up and down, <laughs> like, like, one or two, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. But I do still plan on making part 3 of that, I just want it to be a special occasion. So like I said, I plan on doing it when I reach either 700 subscribers, or for New Year's this, or for New Year's 2019, because I always want to do a special video on New Year's, because I started um, doing YouTube stuff on New Year's of 2016? No, 17. New Year's of 2017, where I made my um, Shulk montage, my first one, I made two. But the first one was on New Year's 2017. Then 2018, I did another Smash 4 montage with just multiple characters. Most of it was just kind of leftover footage that I had. And that Bowser just immediately Bowser sided. Wow. Not even, not even, not even gonna respect the taunt. I see how it is. Wow, and that didn't hit. Okay. This match is not gonna last very long from what I can tell. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm bad with Cloud, by the way. <laughs> I'm just bad at this game. I try to do, like, the stuff Cloud does. Like, you see there, I'm going for back airs. And I know, like, Cloud does, like, short hop back airs usually, but every time I try to go for a short hop, it just goes for a full hop, and it's an obnoxious. Because <laughs> I can never... I just can't do it right. Like, I, I, I try to slightly press the button as well as, like, I, as well as I can, but every time it ends up being a full press. I'm just like, really? I'm trying to short hop here, but you're going for the full hop. Like, why? Why is this happening? Oh yeah, and then I do that sometimes <laughs> with Cloud. And then the down air thing too, because I know like that down air, um, 
it can combo if you do it right. I'm not sure how to do it so that you're like floating in the air with down air. Every time I do it, I seem to fall down pretty fast. And I'm not holding down, mind you. I am using the C-Stick to do it, and I'm holding up. Because to try to make it so I'm not falling in that fast. So, but you see there, well... He probably could have air-dodged out of that, like, normally. I'm pretty sure it's normally confirmed if you do it right. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do to make it work right. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just, I'm just bad with Cloud, honestly. Okay, so there he could not... I couldn't act out of it. Maybe it was the wrong percent, though. And it, it kind of did look like a fast fell. <laughs> okay, there I was trying to go for, like, um, a down air, but... I'm really bad at hitting Cloud's down airs off stage. I'm usually scared to go for it because, you know, Cloud has horrible recovery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Oh my gosh. Let go of shield too soon. That's another thing I do. I, I let go of shield too soon. I'm glad that in Smash Ultimate now, you're going to have perfect shields when you let go of shield. So, a lot of the times where I'm pr uh, uh, I'm letting go of shield too soon might actually help me now. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll forget to let go now. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll find I'll find a way to mess up perfect shields. <laughs> or shield in general, I guess. Because I'm just bad at using shield. I'm also really bad at spot dodging. Every time I try to spot dodge, it just doesn't come out fast enough. Whereas with other people do it, they do it like right at the moment I try to grab them. It's like really, why, 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 why can I not do anything about this? This is not okay. And every time I try to spot dodge, it's like nope, you shielded. You definitely shielded. And I was like no, I pressed down <laughs> as well. I didn't just press the shield button. You're a liar, game. You're a liar, controller. <laughs> It could just be that my controller is really old. It is like my brother's controller from when he was when he got his GameCube. So it's like really old. It's like over a decade old. I really need a new GameCube controller, a new good GameCube controller. Really badly. Okay, nice Cloud Dittos. Um, uh, he's probably a better Cloud than me if I had to guess. Oh, I see how it is. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, okay. I I don't know why I nared. Wait, did I lose my jump? It looked like I tried to jump out of nair, but maybe the nair had too much end lag. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what just happened there. That made me had to use up B. Okay. And I wish that down throw really did combo into moves. Like, seriously. That would be so much better. Man, I've been seeing gameplay of Smash Ultimate in, like, um, various things, and apparently I've, I've heard some things, like, apparently Donkey Kong no longer has Ding Dong, which is sad. I think, anyway. I think that's what they said. Yeah, I believe that's a thing, which is just depressing. That's like the best part of Donkey Kong, and why I like using him in this game recently. And then, um, I noticed Ness got nerfed in, like, his back throw. Wow, and you're gonna taunt at that. You... you don't know how to do respectful taunts, sir. <laughs> anyway, um... Freaking... what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, like, there was some, um... Tournament at some convention where, like, um... It was like a for only t for teens only it seems and like there's the I think the guy who won was like a Ness player and like he he was really good but I noticed one thing is that like Ness's back throw just doesn't kill as well as it used to like I think I remember someone living at like 120 ish from back air and it was center stage but still well no it wasn't even center stage I think he was like at the edge I was like that still didn't kill he should be dead. Ness's back throw should be killing at like 100%. <laughs> like, easy. <laughs> but like, he was higher percent than that, and he still lived. I mean, I know that, like, yeah, DI is a thing, but still, even with DI, that's like something that Ness manages to kill with. Is it just that. I don't know. Is it. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's like. 
I'm trying to think of how to think how, how to explain why Ness does is like not killing anymore <laughs> with back throw. Maybe I guess he really did just get nerfed. Huh. And then everyone knows about Cloud no longer keeping limit forever. I don't think that was necessary of a nerf. That was not the place to nerf him. Like now that just I feel like limit's just useless now. Like cuz like now everyone knows when it's coming. And like I don't know. I feel like now limit just not good at all. I feel like if you're gonna make it limited to how long it lasts, you could have given it a bit longer than 15 seconds. Like, maybe 20 seconds would have been better. But still, it's like, yeah, it's powerful and all. I mean, wow, that didn't even kill Pikachu. <laughs> so maybe it's not that strong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a really powerful thing, but I don't think Limit is broken myself. Because, yeah, it does take time to charge, and you only get, get um, one hit. And it's not that difficult to avoid most of the time. So it's like, I don't know. When, In my opinion, Limit is fine. The real problem with how he's good is really his, um, freaking... His hitboxes and his, um... Whatchamacallit? His hitboxes and his, uh... Frame data. <laughs> like, it's really fast and they're just really good. I think the real thing is he should just... That more characters should just be buffed. Because that's what makes Smash fun, is combos and such. Like, a, a Sakurai, you do good things, and then you do not good things. Like, some of these nerfs are just not good choices, in my opinion. I don't think Cloud should have been nerfed. It's more so that more characters need buffs. <laughs> wow, up throw killed. <laughs> yeah, Cloud's up throw can kill with Rage at really high percents. Some people don't expect it to kill, but it does. It's very situational, though, and it's not that good. Plus, in that case, Pikachu is really light, so obviously it's going to kill in some way. <laughs> but yeah, that's a thing. Cloud and up throw does kill. <laughs> Just not a very reliable kill throw. Anyway, um... I don't know, some other things that I... One nerf that I think is okay is Mario's. Like, his down throw to up tilt is no longer a thing. Down throw up air still is. Like, yeah, this this is just... That's just ridiculous. Like, 34% off of a grab is just... Wow. Like, un unless other character, A lot of more... Uh, more characters can do stuff like that? That's just not okay. <laughs> like... The thing is, like... I don't know, I kind of agree with... Uh, with this one YouTuber I watch, um, who used to do a lot of Smash 4 content, Pixel Tricks. He's not too popular, but he used to do a lot of Smash 4 stuff back in the day. And I'm sure he's gonna do a lot of Smash Ultimate stuff when that comes out. But, um, yeah, he, he said that he would rather see all the characters get buffed and be over, all be overpowered than all of them being nerfed. <laughs> and I agree with that. I think kill confirms are a good thing to have, and it should be something every character has. And then good combos, even if they're percent, percent, uh, percent specific, like, that would be a lot better. But, because, like, if everyone can do it, it's not, it's not unfair. I mean, yeah, the whole thing is that Sakurai wants to appeal more to casual audiences. Well, then just make it easier to do, like with Mario. He's really easy to learn, because, like, all of his combos are so simple. Like, if you made more characters like that, then that would make this game so much better. But he only seems to have done that for very a few characters. Like, Mario has simple and easy combos that are really good. Uh, Kirby does. Um, Cloud does. And yeah, some characters are complicated, but that's fine. Like, you know, pick your main as you wish to. Just, I don't know. It's hard to say with the way Sakurai sees his game and I respect and understand how he sees his game, but like, <sighs> I'm sure you can find balance to make it both competitive and um, casual and still keep combos, like really good combos and kill confirms in the game. Just make the kill confirms simple and easy to pull off so that even casual players can figure it out easily and, um, you know, have just, you know, simple and easy to understand combos. And make a few characters complicated, like, because, you know, there are certain characters that you want 
that, like, I don't know, it might be more fun if they had more, you know, depth to how they play, like with Mega Man or Bowser Jr., you know, but I'd rather see it be more balanced and be more, you know, combo-based and more, um, you know, based on, like, and then have more kill confirms, because sometimes it's really annoying to have a, a character that's, like, just doesn't die because your character just can't kill them. So having kill confirms and combos, as long as they don't last too long and don't get too crazy, should be fine, in my opinion. You know? Anyway, this is the last match, so I'm just gonna wrap myself up there. Um, this should not last long. This link is annoying. It looks to be a four glory link. Yep. And be gone. Alright, <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is the first gamer. Signing out.